If you've ever dug into the description of any of my YouTube videos or the YouTube videos of a lot of other people probably, you've probably come across a link that looks like this. Now this is what's called a branded link. This is a link that has my domain name in it so that you know that when you click it, you are going to something that is hosted by me or at least endorsed by me and not something weird and random. Branded links have been shown to increase your click through it by up to 39% which is a huge margin of difference between a branded link and an unbranded link, which is just like a jumble of a bunch of letters and numbers. So today I'm going to walk you through how I create my own custom branded links using toned in. Branded links are a very important part of showcasing your brand across the internet, wherever you have content posted or even where you're running ads, branded links are really important. Now, obviously, Having a branded link in your ad is a necessity now on Facebook. If you want to have custom conversions, you've got to use your own domain. Now, if you want to post your links in your YouTube videos, like I do in the descriptions or like in your Instagram profile or a host of other places, then branded links are a really effective tool to increase that click through rate and sort of showcase your brand at the same time. Now, before we dig into toned in and I show you how to set this up, you are going to need to connect your own custom domain to toned in for this to work. If you haven't done that yet, you can check out this video right here and that will walk you through the whole process of getting your domain, going through the records on Google domains or whatever you use and connecting that to toned in so that you can come back to this video and set up these short links and have your own custom branded links. So let's dive into toned in and I'll show you how to set it up. Now, if you don't have a toned in account, go to tonedin.io, sign up for an account, log in. And the first place you're going to land is here on the calendar screen. So what we want to do is we want to make our own custom short link. So we're going to go to the link icon on the left over here. And then we're going to go up to the top right and go to create new link campaign. And what we want to choose from this menu is link shortener. This is the tool that's going to allow us to create a very simple branded link that just basically directs or redirects rather you from our branded link to the destination, wherever it is you want to send somebody. So we're going to click link shortener, and this is where we're going to drop in the link that we want to send somebody to. So for this example, we are going to just send somebody to my YouTube channel. Com slash Tom Dupree. So we've got youtube.com slash Tom Dupree the third. That's where we want this to go. We're going to click create link. Now you can customize all of the metadata here that you want to. We'll just call this Tom Dupree the third on YouTube. We'll get rid of all this extra stuff here. There we go. Now we've updated our metadata. We're going to click continue. And here's where we're going to select our own custom domain. So I've got a bunch of custom domains I've connected here. As you can see, I'm going to go to go.tomdupree the third, and then you can change the custom link path here to, we'll call it the dash YouTubes. Since I already have a link, go.tomdupree the third.com slash YouTube, we're gonna create this one for this video. Click continue. All of our pixel IDs are already in here. So if you wanna add your own pixels for pretty much any platform, you can add them here, and then you can track this link as well, which is a double win. Click continue, and then that's it. The link is set up. We will do YouTube test link. That's what we'll call it. Click create link. And then your link is all set up. So now if we copy the link, we can go up here and drop it in the bar. Go.tomdupreethethird.com slash the YouTubes. Hit enter. And it should take me to my YouTube channel. And it does. So that's how you set this up. It's really easy. It's a very effective way to market your content on your existing content. And it's also a really effective way to brand yourself and brand your links when you're running Facebook ads. So for example, if you want to run conversion ads, as I said before, you're going to have to have your own custom domain and your own branded link set up to do that anyway. Not only is it a necessity now to run conversions, but it also is going to increase your click through rate by almost 40%, which is no small margin of error. I definitely recommend using toned in. It's free to set this up. Connecting your domain, creating these short links is free. Uh, it's effective. It's very useful. As you probably will notice, if you open up the description on any of my YouTube videos, I have branded links everywhere. I use them for everything. Uh, they've been very effective for me. And you can track and retarget people who click through these links for future ad campaigns 
across platforms if you install your pixel code for any given platform. So if I want to run a retargeting campaign on Snapchat, I can drop my Snapchat pixel into these links and I can retarget anybody who clicks these links later on using Snapchat ads. Really effective, really helpful tool. Now, if you haven't set up your custom domain with Toned In yet, definitely check out the original video that I referenced earlier in this video <laughs> to do that. And I will also leave a link to that video in the description of this one. So you can go check that out and get all that set up as well. So good luck setting up your custom links. And before you sign off, make sure you subscribe. If you don't like and share this video. And at the end here, got a couple things you can check out. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.